Yo. Alright, so let me go in the MBO. Wow. Alright. So let me get me out of here. And you're gonna go to retail. And then if you're ever ringing something up for somebody who's not here, we'll just go to my mind telling you selling me something. All right, my credit card is still in here. I still have to fix that. I'm a freaking wreck. Um, bang. So they want to buy some gloves. You go to products, right? Products. You look up gloves. Search. Only one that pops up is $55. Now, a quick way to turn it into the $35 one is you just go to the price here, and you're just going to delete the five, make it a three, and bam. Now the $35 gloves. Look at that. You hit add item. Move yeah boy. Out of there again. Um, and then down here, you can do credit card straight from a bank account. If they pay cash, put it here. If they pay a check, put it here. And just like that. Now, if there's nothing even in there for the product, like let's just say it's a new product, something that we've never even heard of. Um, so now we're selling two tone boxing club balloons, and you type in the balloons and nothing comes up so you're like crap i don't even think i spelled balloons right um you'll create a new product and then you can just go balloons and set the price 10 bucks create product boom that easy now we have 10 dollar two-tone balloons and then you just hit same thing add item just like you did the other one and then however they want to pay down here if they're paying by credit card click here or here they're paying by ACH here, check here, cash here. If they're paying by credit card, you're gonna have to click here. Maybe. <clears throat> I have one on file, so if it's on file, it'll come up like this. But if not, you can click down here, or if it's not on file, this one will pop up initially. You're gonna take down, just copy down their credit card number here, put in the expiration month and year, put in the three digit code on the back that's here, and then you're gonna fill out their name, their address. This will be on their waiver, or you can actually run this without them filling out their address too if you have to. You can just, as long as you know the zip code, which will be on whatever they filled out. So pop in their zip code. You're always gonna to wanna to hit store billing information that way we have for next time, and then click save print receipt. And you're good to go.